This is Troy Lewis, lead pastor of Steamboat Christian Center, and this is Vision Moments, an inspirational video cast that provides vision, insights, and growth opportunities for you to stay resourced and connected to our vision to love God and to love people. Can't wait for you to hear today's episode. Hi there, I'm Sherry Ford, and I'm a member of the Board of Deacons here at Steamboat Christian Center. Now, I hesitated when I was invited to share a vision moment with you. See, vision moments are inspirational video casts that provide vision, insights, and growth opportunities for you to stay resourced, connected, and engaged with our vision to love God and love people. So why would I hesitate? Mostly because I never think of myself as being brave. Uh, You won't catch me jumping out of a perfectly good airplane or bungee jumping off a bridge. Frankly, when you tell me about your knee surgery, I have to sit down because my knees get weak. The thing is, I often take that same cautious approach into my walk with God. For years after I became a Christian, I attended church, but that was about as involved as I felt like I needed to be. I was locked into my comfort zone, right up until God challenged me to serve. It started when someone asked me to teach an elementary Sunday school class. My first reaction was, no, (laughs) I'm not qualified to do that. I mean, I wasn't raised in a Christian home. I don't even know the Bible stories. But God had determined it was time to grow me out of my comfortable rut, and he kept working on me. The day came when I read this passage out of James chapter 2, verses 19 and 20. Do I hear you professing to believe in the one and only God, but then observe you complacently sitting back as if you had done something wonderful? That's just great. Demons do that, but what good does it do them? Use your heads. Do you suppose for a minute that you can cut faith and works in two and not end up with a corpse on your hands? Man, sometimes God uses a two-by-four to get my attention. For the first time, I realized that works or service is part of loving God. It's not what saves me, and it doesn't earn me more brownie points. But if God's Holy Spirit is living in me, then loving God and loving people is a natural outpouring of that. God reminded me that love is an action word. Where was my action? So I started teaching an elementary Sunday school class. And you know what? God grew me through that experience. That Christian childhood with all the Bible stories that I never had, I learned those stories right alongside a bunch of non-judgmental second graders. Once I was obedient to God in service, I realized that I was being blessed at least as much, if not more, than anyone I was serving. Each time God challenged me with a new service opportunity and I was brave enough to say yes, he grew me in new ways as a Christian. When I came to Steamboat Christian Center, I got involved in the care ministry. It's a team of people who meet physical needs. And I quickly realized that this was very different from anything I'd been involved in before. See, the team doesn't only serve people who attend SCC. It serves anyone in our community. For the first time, I was seeing people who weren't Christians, but who were seeing God's love in action through God's people. One woman in particular stands out in my mind. Um, She was older and an atheist. 
a friend of hers from the Christian Center was helping her move, and they realized late on a Friday night that they weren't going to get through everything. Her friend called the care team, and a group of volunteers showed up early on Saturday and started unloading her U-Haul. One of the other volunteers overheard the woman ask her friend, who are these people and why are they helping me? They don't even know me. That woman showed up at church on Sunday at Steamboat Christian Center. Not because we preached to her or said, oh, this is what you have to do in order to get help, but because she wanted to know more about these people who showed God's love to her. She was intrigued enough by the sermon that she started attending, and later she became a Christian. Now, not every chance to serve is going to end with eternal salvation for the person that we're helping. But God didn't make us responsible for that. God made us responsible for the yes to service. So I challenge you, step out of your comfort zone. God has provided a place of service for every person in his church. Jesus told us to love with our actions. Be brave and find your place of service.